Here we go. This is how you make soup. <laughs> yeah, this is how you make soup. Putting the carrots in the cauldron, then you go to sleep. Well, hello, Shirley Rocks here. Welcome to King Under the Mountain. Now, if you like playing games like RimWorld and uh, Dwarf Fortress, and, you know, basically games that are strategy colony based games, you will like this. Um, I've just played a little bit of this, like half an hour to get in the basic flow of the game. And uh, yeah, we're going to go for the, the tutorial, really good tutorial for this. And we will just see how we get on. So here we go. So you can choose your settlement name in here. You can do random names here. So there's quite a few little cool names you can do. Um, let's see, Iron Saviour, that sounds pretty good. Let's try that. Begin. This is a resource management game. It's a people management game and it is fun. Now here is the main interface. Now my basic controls, it'll talk to you through this, but I'll just give you a brief overview. So it's controlled with the cursor, so it's Wasada. Then we've got hold down shift and you can zoom around quick. You can zoom in and out with the mouse wheel. You can also press Q and E like that to zoom in and out and then you can move around on the mini map here now this has got this luscious terrain here now this is a really nice starting spot because we've got the the water over there we've got all this mountain to build into um so when we start building we want to start thinking about building nearish some uh, water we've got elephants yeah there's elephants there's all sorts of animals so look there's we've got a stag a little little dough. We've just done all the controls there, so if you want to read that again, you can do. Right, uh, up right of the screen is all of the uh, current date and time, uh, weather as well, so pouring rain, as you can see by the weather effect there. Um, one thing you can do is you can control the time up here, so it's pause, play, faster, fastest, no, faster, fastest, uh, space pauses it between them or you can press one two three four to switch between them settlers have three basic needs to uh fulfill them so if i click on one you'll see so they need uh food drink and somewhere to sleep so that's sleep gauge food gauge drink gauge uh although they will complain about it for now they can drink from the nearby river and sleep on the ground what they can't do is magic up food so we need to do food now this is quite important so for these settlers, uh, I need enough crops, and it says here, a good rule of thumb is 10 tiles of crops per settler. So I need to build at least 70 plots here, and it wants me to do four separate farm plots. So, now the controls for this are sublime, and I mean, they're really quick to get into stuff. Like, if you want to go into a menu like this, if you right click, it brings back to the main menu. If I right click again, it takes you back, so you can bounce in and out. The only thing I don't think you can do is, which I'm surprised that you can't seem to press like B for build, C for craft, and Z for zones. Maybe you can reconfigure that in the controls, I've not actually looked. So, we need to do farm zones, so we are going to do farm zones. And I'm going to do, so we do zones, and then we go to farm plot. And it's literally as easy as drag and drop, so you just do it like that. You can see the size I'm going to do it there, so that's 4 by 4 so let's do, uh, what do we need? I need to do four flop, four plots of 70, so five by four. Okay, that is enough. So we've got four separate ones there. They're all gonna get built. Uh, now it says here, with nothing else to do, your settles will start prepping the farm plots by tilling the earth, ready for your seeds to be sown. Uh, this progress uh, does take a while to do, and I need to select what crops to do. So it wants me to do um, a, a seed tile thing, stockpile, because if I don't do that, they won't actually build anything. It's something to do with the materials for the seed thing, the carrying them, but they can't access them unless you actually stick them in an area. So we'll stick it like that. And then we also need to do a tool tile. Okay, we'll, we'll do it there. So after some time, your settlers should start putting items they are not using in stockpiles. The seeds go in that bit. Tools go on that bit. Oh, no, no, no. Wait a minute. That bit there. We don't want conjoined ones. I want seeds in that one and tools in this one. We might have to add to this one. Now, you can't really add to it unless you go back into this. So you have to do... Stockpile tool. Let's make it a little bit bigger. 
There we go. So now we need to do uh, seeds for these plots. So we uh, we need to do don't select barley or hops. So what you do is you click on the field like that, and then you click what you want in it. So I want carrots in that one. Corn, I guess. Uh, what else have we got in this one? Potato. And tomato. Now we have got seeds for a lot of these, so a lot of these will get planted. We just need to uh, do it a little bit quicker. I'm going to speed it up a little bit, just to try and get some of this stuff done. Now it does say we do need to have another farmer, so we will do that. So your farmers will get to work doing all of this uh, stuff here. Let's unpause it while we're doing it. Um, you can click on a settler and you can see what jobs they are. So as you can see, this one is a stonemason and a farmer. This one's a carpenter and a chef. So it looks like tilling the ground doesn't actually take any uh, skill. Oh, wait a minute. No, no, because you're not doing it. I think it's only the farmers that are doing the work. So what I can do is I can add someone else as a farmer. In fact, let's have, let's have a couple of extra farmers. These should jump in and help out now. Because otherwise, we're going to be waiting all day to get this all done. Right. We need to strike the earth and get into here now because we need to build some rooms. So I'm going to mine and do inside here. So you click mine. And you do like this. Now these rooms need to be a certain size. Uh, we need to build... It wants him to build a, a kitchen. And the kitchen is where we're actually going to make all the meals and stuff. Uh, one thing I feel like I should talk about is the mouse cursor now if you look at this just look at this <laughs> it's so good it lights up but it's like it's affecting all the items and stuff altering the shadowing on stuff it just looks really really it looks really cool i really like it i've not seen that before in a game um so i'm building into here we're going to do some mining and then once we've done the uh, the mining we're going to set up a kitchen so in the kitchen, we need to have a water barrel, worktop, and a cauldron. And also, we need to do a, f a, f a food stockpile area to store any harvested crops. So I'm doing these all inside. So let's do a basic room shape. We'll do it like that with a door. Well, not with a door, just to separate it a little bit. I'm going to put my food in there, and that's going to be my kitchen. Now, you can actually view the list of colonists up here, settlers. So you can go in here for a quick overview and see, you know, what skills they've got and stuff. Um, let's see if I can alter it by a skill. So you can do filters here. So you can see on this, I've only got one, one actual miner. Um, so let's do another miner. Just to try and speed up the video. They seem to do a little bit of farming first thing in the morning, which is what they're all doing. Once that field's done, the seeds will go down. We're just going to run this on at full speed at the moment. And as you can see, these are doing strike the earth now. Now, another thing you can do, you can set a zone for this raw materials there. So... We are going to want to build a masonry workshop in a little bit, but we're just going to dig this out for now. He's probably going to go for a drink now. Okay, you see his drink was about half full there. There you go. He's all drinked up now. Now, you can change the name of the colonists if you want. You click on that there, and you can just put the names in, so you can call it uh, Minor Shells, that well-known mining uh, name. Okay, first room is ready to do. So this is going to be a uh, food stockpile area. And that's going to take all that up. Right, so this is going to be our kitchen. So what we need to do, we need to go into zone and we need to choose kitchen. Highlight the room. Like so. And then in this, now I'll pause this a second. We can click on it and then we can click furniture. And that tells you what items you can put in that room. And it says here, I need a water barrel, um, a cauldron and a kitchen work top. So we'll add the work top. Now bear in mind there is workspace areas around that where they, they stand. So I'm going to put that there. And we need a water barrel. So I'm trying to place these where they're not going to get in the way of other people. And also it says a 
cauldron. So this is going to be a little bit tricky to place. Um, let me see. Let's cancel this. I might have to do this. Mine this a little bit bigger. These people will drag the stuff to this. So you can see at the moment this needs uh, marble blocks. This one needs a cauldron. There is a cauldron over there. And then that is the water barrel. There you go. They will actually go and fill that with water from the river. It's just a case of we've got to wait for it to do. Now we were planting all the stuff over here. So as you can see over here. All the stuff is getting planted now. You can click on the, tro the crops and get traits. So you can see water recently is growing quickly. 16%. Whereas tomato plant is only 12%. I think the stockpile needs altering. This one here, you can you can click on the settings and alter what you want to put in a stockpile. So I want just seeds in that one. I want tools in that one. You could also uh, change the name of them as well. So I could say on this. Uh, tools. And then when you click on it, it tells you the little name there. Very nice. There is no building traits as far as I'm aware for building the stuff so it's just a case of who's spare and not doing anything as you can see we have filled up the water barrel with uh, some water and we've got our cauldron in there as well which has also got water in cauldron is how we make soup okay we're finally building our work top now excellent right so when my crops have been harvested cooks will bring vegetables to the kitchen worktop which is this bit and they will then add them to the cauldron, which is that one, with water and produce soup. Making soup and baking bread means our supplies will go much further. So a single veg will feed the dwarf for a meal. But three veggies makes soup, which will give me 12 meals. So eventually a kitchen will produce a cauldron full of hot soup. But the cooks don't like other dwarves getting in the way. So instead I'll have to have the soup brought to a feasting hall for the whole settlement to enjoy. Uh, designate a feasting hall by clicking on zones feasting hall and adding a cauldron note a feasting hall cauldron won't be placed until a cauldron containing thick delicious soup is available so they seem to take it from this room and put it in wherever the feasting hall is so um i need to do a feasting hall now a feasting hall does need to be fairly big so let's make it slightly bigger like that and, uh, get that built i didn't talk about this up here if you go to crafting you can see all the different traits so you can see like you know if i click on smelting i can see i've got like bloom um let's have a look at what else is that baking uh there's dough so this is like your crafting uh attributes so you can go into like wood cutting and say you know planks i want to have you know 160 in total or i want to keep 10 uh, planks per settler so you can be really precise which is really awesome we're gonna have a grand feasting hall so we need furniture for this so in this it said i need to add a cauldron to this so i'm just gonna add the one cauldron stick it in the corner and that's where the, the feasting thing is gonna be i've got one extra room over there at the moment nothing really in it at the moment but we are gonna have to start crafting stuff soon so i'm gonna get right on top of that by doing these two are gonna be crafting rooms i think they should be big enough and i'm gonna have one i'm gonna do that as my stonemason room I'll make it one extra actually and do a room here and i'm gonna have that as my resource room in the background now you can click up here as well and see what re resources you've got so at the moment you can see i've got boulders buckets you can even click on your seeds and see what seeds you've got so i've got wheat hemp barley hop seeds and i've got uh rations we've got Ooh, we've actually not got any food at the moment yeah that's why we need to sort this food out quickly. So hopefully with the amount of farmers I've got, this is going to be pretty quick and painless. Now, I don't know if having it outside waters it or if it's worth people going up to it watering it. Right, so over time, I want to expand my food production, but I've got to keep my small settlement nourished for the upcoming winter. So we have got to replace our masonry and wood cutting, basically. So this is going to be my masonry workshop. So we go to zone. We click on masonry, this one. So we click on that. 
designates that as a masonry workshop. And then masonry workshop, I just need to add a stonemason's workbench to it. So I probably could make this a little bit smaller, but it is quite a nice size, that though, look. I think that fits quite central and good. So that's going to be that there. This is where we're going to keep all the raw resources here. So we're going to dig this out. Now there is elements in the walls as well. So this is uh, coal ore. Now what I can do with that is I can do a zone. I can do a stockpile in here. And I can say in here I want raw materials. And then I can click within that settings and I can say what raw materials so I can have I can have all of that or I can just have boulders but I'm just going to leave it as a generic one for now because yeah we're not really doing much with it at the moment okay next thing we need to build is our little um, well we need to do two things we need to start processing logs so we have got trees over here um I need to think how big I'm going to do this. And we can't really... I could do an, an alternative entrance over here and then link it up to here. That might be quite fun to do. So this, I'm going to try and do this as my little... Um, wood chop. And then we're going to chop down these trees. It does take a while to do. But as, as with like RimWorld and other games like this, you've got to set the infrastructure up first. And then you can have happy times. Now, there is stuff outside, though. So, we should be able to harvest elements outside. I don't know what stuff there is to harvest, though. Because that looks like berries or something. I knew there was tugs, look. Little warty hoggy pigs. Here, wild boar. Um, I don't know what rate we can harvest these. Because you can click harvest. But it's not letting me do it. So we do zone, and we do the uh, sawmill. So this is going to be, needs to be six tiles. So this is more than six. I could do six, like, as in that big like that. But when you go to put this in, it does look quite big when you put it in. I suppose it would fit in. But I like it, I like it to look neat in the room. So we're going to put it there. Now, you might be saying to yourself, yes, but Shirley Rocks, can you do things like doors? Well, yes, you can, of course. So we can do building and then we can do doors. And we can choose what you want, what material you want, stone, metal or wood. I can choose any material and then I could just, if I wanted to, I could put a door there. So we could have a door there. Door there. Now, materials for that, we need... Uh, marble blocks so what you can do is then go in here and go right okay so blocks uh, marble blocks I do have 28 thank you very much that will work to make more marble blocks I am assuming I do actually need to find like marble on the map so if you look around the map you can find different types so look there there's marble there I could go and mine that so we're just trying to uh, get all this stuff built there you go my little doors getting done there my wood, woods thing is slowly getting done. So a, a saw has been allocated and a tin axe. And we're waiting for all the resources to be delivered. And then we can build it. There we go. Door's gone up. I must say that that did look nice when that swung open. Okay, wooden bench has been uh, built now. Nice. Now I'm ready to produce wooden planks and stone blocks. They require resources. To craft them, wooden logs and rough stone boulders. Fortunately, these can be harvested from the game quite easily. So we can just do order and we can do, uh, I think it's chop. Um, orders chop and click. So let's, uh, let's harvest a few trees there. And we are going to chop some trees down. Notice we've already um, got an order here for 40 blocks. So... If you click on the, this blocky thing here click crafting now you can see we've not talked about priority so anytime you produce something there's a priority now as you can see for this here we are going to make a certain amount of maintaining so this one here block we're going to maintain 300 so 
I need to make more blocks. So let me just see. Can I minimize that? Yeah, so like in this one here, maintaining five in total, I've got 23. I think it's 23. Yeah, millstone, again, that is three blocks makes a millstone, and it wants me to keep one in total. So I'm doing these blocks. So I want to do that as a higher priority because I want to make sure I am making enough of these blocks. Right, hopefully we're going to see him start producing stuff in here now. Because his job is stonemason. And if we look at this now, 23 blocks at the moment. There you go. 25, I've just made two. Then we're going to start using all these blocks that are just like placed all around the world. Now I don't know if like in RimWorld there's going to be... Um, negative aspects for doing shared bedrooms but for now we're just going to do a shared bedroom so we've got two types of things we can do a sleeping spot which takes one spot and then we can do a bed now the beds take up more space but I imagine they're going to be comfier so on that we need fur planks to build that one so that's going to be interesting to see how that works we're going to build those two things there Okay, so we've got two, well, we've got one, one person sleeping inside. The rest of them are all sleeping uh, just on the floor. Now, they do, they don't particularly like sleeping on the floor. So, look, slept on rough ground, minus 10. So that's, that's the same trait. So, whether you like sleeping on the floor better inside or outside, I'm not too sure yet. So, what I can do with this one, I can do this as a stockpile. And we'll do it as products. So products is going to be the things like the planks and all the other stuff. So if we click settings, so no, if we click products, so barrels, hoops, staves, rope, ingots, uh, plank blocks, it's going to be all the stuff. Now that is going to be a little bit too small. I think we should make this, let's make this a silly long room. There we go. We've done it. Okay, so this covers the basics of playing the game. For your next challenge, I need to aim to set up a, a functioning metalworks with a forge. Provide it with fuel and refined metal ore. Refined metal ores are produced at the ore crushing station and fuel can be crushed from coal or produced out of wooden logs. Oh boy, this looks a corker of a game. I really want to show some of the food though, so I think I'm going to... Um get this so you can at least see how the food system works okay i think we're finally harvesting the crops now there we go so we've got uh carrot plants here these all look like they are being uh harvested interesting if i want to pause it a second i want to see if my seeds go up because i'm assuming i'm going to get extra carrot seeds so it says we've got six carrot seeds there let's see if this goes up as we harvest so we get, are we getting them from there? We must be getting seeds. Look at that. Oh, wait, no, 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 that's 48. Carrot, we do seem to be getting carrot seeds from the things we're harvesting. So this means we can plant more, grow more. So we should start seeing some chefing going on soon. So let's go into our settlers list. Who is doing chefering? Well, quite a few of us are doing chefing. Um... Uh, removing pests from corn plants. That's pretty interesting. Uh, you're hauling. So no one's actually doing cooking at the moment. Interesting, the pests, though. I think that's like a bit like a blight, maybe. Removing the bugs from the stuff. Right, hopefully we're going to start making some food soon, then. Okay, here we go. My first lot of food is arriving. We've got some carrots, which has been assigned to the cauldron. So we should start seeing some food production coming along now. Here we go. So the carrots are going to go in here. These are going to get dumped inside the cauldron. Maybe we need more stuff. Let's have a look. Oh, there we go. Look, the carrot has got... Well, there's, there is carrot in that. We need more than one carrot, though. Here we go. This is how you make soup. <laughs> yeah, this is how you make soup. Putting the carrots in the cauldron, then you go to sleep. I have expanded uh, the feast scenario as well. I've added a little um, serving table in here. So that's going to make it a little bit better for us to go and eat in here. And I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. Like so. Because I did want to add a few new things. So we've got a feasting table. We've also got a serving table. 
Oh, yeah, that's not going to fit in, is it? Uh, we have got chairs, though, so let us add chairs around the table. And we will go in here and actually eat in that area now. I can add another water barrel in here. Well, I could have made the room bigger. Still can't fit it in. Before I forget, I've done this as well. I've made this uh, whole production area. So this is going to be our furnace room. So we've got our rook rock crushing slit station uh working very slowly not enough power i don't know if we have water mills i don't know how we power it we're also we need to do a forge we're waiting for more ore fuel to be available uh we need a few things for that we need an anvil we need a hammer steel tongs so we're waiting for fuel i think which we have tried to make fuel here so this is a um, charcoal clamp waiting for it. So we need 32 cedar logs to get that done. Soup is on the go here, look. We've got soup in the pot now. 12 portions of soup. And we'll see if people start taking the soup. There you go. This is going to get taken to the feasting hall now. There you go. And then they can come in here and feast. That's how they get their meals. But we need to get the tables built. And this needs to get built as well. They are taking soup though, look. They are taking soup. Are you taking the soup too? Okay, you're just eating it in there. Now look at that though. Wow, that's pretty interesting. Look, it shows you the ripeness levels. So we've got not ripe, nearly ripe, and then we've got... That's pretty much ripe, isn't it? I did try to build this as well, an irrigation channel. It did not work. I thought I could feed the water from the river to there, and it did not work. So I must be able to do power though, because it says I can do power here. Um, it says I do gears. I don't know how that works. I might have to build a gear maybe and then connect it to that. I don't know how it works though. Anyway, that's all I'm going to show you for now. I'm going to have an absolute nightmare editing this. So hopefully you appreciate this. I want to see some more. So this is King Under the Mountain. If you did enjoy watching this and you want to see some more, give a thumbs up on the video and leave a comment. This looks like this could be the new RimWorld for me. I do think it looks really good. Anyway, that's it for now. Thank you for watching. See you next time.